Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do partial auto routing using KiCad. This is a question that I got uh, in the last video, so I'm going to show you how to do this this time. Okay, so for this, I'm going to use the same example as in the last video, which is in the amplifier that we have seen using an operational amplifier, several resistances, capacitors and connectors, we have our uh, amplifier. So we can also open our PCB, as we have seen also in the last video. Uh, we have here our PCB with uh, both connectors and the integrated circuit corresponding to the operational amplifier, resistances, uh, capacitors, and so on, okay? And we can see with these lines the different connections that we have to do uh, in our board, okay? So now, um, let's say that we want to do only partial auto-routing, which means that uh, we are going to do manually routing for the net corresponding to 12 volt and also for the ground of the board, okay? So we are only going to use auto-routing for the other nets. Okay, so in order to do this, we are going to export our board again to the uh, free routing program and then work uh, from them. Okay, so for this, we go to File, Export, the format is Spectra DSN, okay, and then we save as Amplifier DSN. Okay, and now we can go to our program, free routing. Open it and then open our document, our PCB, which is in downloads. Sorry, it's in downloads, amplifier, and then amplifier DS. Okay, so here we have our board with the lines for the different connections. So here, what we are going to do is to define a net class with the uh, nets that we want uh, to route automatically, okay? And leave the others to be uh, routed manually, okay? So for this, go to Utilities, Rules, and Net Classes, okay? And we can see that uh, we have here two net classes, okay? A net class um, basically is a um, set of the different nets, okay? A set of the different nets. For example, if we go here to default, we can uh, click here, show nets, okay? And then we can see that this list is empty. So even we can get rid of this, um, of this net class, remove. And then we have keycard default. If we show the nets here, we can see that we have all the nets in our board ground, the net for the path, for path one of C1, 12 volts, and so on. Okay. So what we are, we are going to do right now is to uh, create a new net class for our uh, nets that we want to uh, route automatically. Okay. So we click here, add, and then we have this class one, okay? We can even rename this and say, this is my class, okay? For example, okay? And then here in this uh, class, uh, we are going to select the uh, nets that we want to have in this new class, okay? For this, we go to assign, assign, and then here select uh, the nets that we want to have in this class. Okay, for example, 12 volts, we are going to leave this in KiCad default. Input, we um, send this to my class, output to my class, ground reference in KiCad, and net C1 in my class and net R2 in my class. Okay, so with this, we have our assignment for the different nets. So if I click here now in my class, select, sorry, 
here in my class and say show nets, then I can see that I have the nets that I want here. Okay, and in KiCad and default, I have uh, we show the nets and we have the nets that we don't want to route automatically. Okay, so the next step is to um, select the uh, width for the different nets because we don't want to to, to uh, do auto routing in with these two nets in KiCad default. What we are going to do is to assign here zero as trace width. Okay, and for these nets in my class, we can select the width that we want. Say, for example, that we want to select 500 microns. Okay, so it's 0.5 millimeter and the same in both layers, in front layer, front copper layer and bottom layer, okay, in all layers. So now, just yes, we can go and do the uh, routing, okay, say complete zoom here and then click here in routing, okay, so you can see in that it's uh, it is very quick okay so we have done the routing of uh, the different nets and the program is working is still running because it's trying to do the auto routing for the other nets but uh, because the trace uh, width is zero then it is not going to make it okay so we can stop by clicking on the left button okay okay see what happens and then we can see here that we have um, our board finished so now if we want to check the different um, nets we can go to utilities rules nets and we have here all the nets that we have in our board and we can show in the different nets for example select 12 volts and click show okay click show and then we can see the paths corresponding to this uh, net okay and the lines corresponding to the connections so with this now we can go to our program KiCad PCB and then do the rest of the rest of the routing manually okay so for this go to file export export spectra session file save also the rules yes Okay, and then go to KiCad. Okay, and then say file, import, spectra session, and the file is amplifier.ses. Okay, so open it, and then here we have uh, our uh, partial and rooted uh, PCB. Okay, now we have to do the rest of the routing. Okay, for this we can select, for example, 30 mils, okay, and use uh, the front uh, layer. So go select here, okay, road tracks, uh, and go here and do the rest of the road. Okay, for example, like this, okay, continue, okay, and then for example, the ground. Like this. Okay. Something like this. Okay. And we have this also. Say, for example, that we want to change the layer now and go to the bottom layer. For this, we can do right click on the mouse, okay, and we will see this option, place through via, okay, or we can also use the letter B on the keyboard, okay, and then we can place a via and then it automatically changes to the bottom layer so we can go here on the bottom layer and finish the PCB, okay. So this is one way to, to do it. The other way to do it that I think that it's even better is to do the automatic, is to do the manual routing in our PCB first and then go to the free routing to do the rest of the routing automatically. 
Okay, so let's see this other way. So in this case, we go to edit and we are going to delete all the uh, connections now. Go to global directions and select tracks. Okay, yes. And then we have our bar again and rotate. Okay, so we do the same. No, sorry. We, what we are going to do now is to do the uh, manual routing of the uh, 12 volt net and also to the ground. Okay, so we select, for example, the bottom layer and 30 mils. So we do our routing here corresponding to the 12 volt and also the ground. Okay, for example, something like this. For this, I'm going to go this way. Okay, something like this. Uh, right now, it's okay. Okay, to check if everything is okay, we can go to tools. Okay, sorry, inspect, inspect list nets. Okay, and we can see here the different nets also. And here uh, we can highlight the different nets and see that everything is routed. For example, for the ground, okay, we can see that all the paths are connected. Okay and also for the 12 volt, okay, all of them are connected in our board, okay. Uh, if we see the others, we can see that they are uh, not connected now, okay. So now we can export this board right now, file, export, spectra DSN, again amplifier DSN and C. And we can go now to a uh, free routing. Okay, I'm going to close this and then go and open free routing again. Select the board in downloads, amplifier, DSM. Okay, and then we can see here in um, free routing that we have already some connections that we have done manually. Okay, and then we can just go to again to utilities, rules, net classes. Okay, right now we have again my class because it was defined before. So what we are going to do is to select all the um, reminding nets in KiCad default. Okay, for this go to assign and select all the nets belonging to KiCad default. Okay, so right now we can even delete these other classes, okay, because in this default, if I show the nets, there is nothing, it's empty, so we can remove it, and in my class, it should be empty also, so net, okay, so remove it, and then we can select the trace width here, so say, for example, 500 microns, 0.5 millimeters, okay, in all layers, and then we just can go and do the routing automatically so we can see okay that all the nets uh, have been routed okay so we can go back and do file export export spectra session file save also the rules okay going to KiCad now and import the completely routed board okay import spectra session amplifier.scs and we can see here that now all the board is routed. Okay, this is all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any comment, just write it uh, below and I will try to answer any comment. Okay, thank you and goodbye now.